The range of Samaritan day top services are really quite profound. We provide transitional housing and shelter, substance and mental health treatment, homelessness, asylum seekers, counseling, educational services, employment services, a whole range of behavioral health and mental health services throughout New York State. I've been with Samaritan for six years. I came to Samaritan as a program director for one of our female shelters, the Radisson Annex, and now I'm the assistant vice president over 32 shelter sites. Hi, I'm Larry. I'm Liz. And we are the Perulis, and we both work up in Samaritan Daytop Village up in Rhinebeck, and we're also married. I'm a rat legend. I was one of the, you know, pillars at the beginning of rap, and that was my job. My father was a cop, two-bedroom apartment, eight kids. My father was a Vietnam vet. He was diagnosed back then as schizophrenic. My family, we had no real understanding of his mental health issues. Little did I know I would end up working with veterans. We have sites in four boroughs currently, about to be five. Every night we, we service about 6,000 clients between all of our shelters. Well, a lot of our veterans do suffer with mental health issues. We work specifically with those veteran issues. There has to be a place where they don't feel stigma attached and they can go and feel that people understand exactly what they're going through. When I look at the holistic approach that we do, intellectual, spiritual, emotional, the whole person has to be thought of. Part of retention and treatment is that there's an, a setting that they can live in that is adequate, that they have a good meal. They say treatment's not supposed to be comfortable, but there has to be a level of comfort that keeps them there. Everyone's treatment is very different. And so that's one of the things that I really, really appreciate about Samaritan, that we're always trying to do new and better things. There's no one size fits all. For me to be able to come here, be one, from a financial services background, two, be a United States Marine, and three, be somebody who's been recovering for 35 years, it is my way of being able to give back at a different level. I think the first moment, actually, that I was interviewed, I realized that I was in the right place. I'm a person recovering. And I realized that this gift was not for me to keep, but it was to give away to other people. And so Samaritan, you know, where good lives is a place of service. I look at what I do every day as my ministry. And I love what I do every day because every day is different. It gives me an opportunity to help people recognize their dreams, connect them to vital services in the community, and let them see that they can have a life beyond their dreams. I never wake up and say, like, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go there. And that says a lot. Samaritan was very supportive in my master's program in social work. I don't know how they worked the whole scholarship out, but they are paying for the entire master's degree. And I feel blessed. I feel blessed to have been chosen, pushed, whatever you want to call it, to get there, to get to that point, and to be in that program. Our facility is called Man of Excellence, and, and we do a ceremony every week to acknowledge behaviors, positive reinforcement, and that goes a long way. Because our residents have been beat up by people emotionally all their lives. So just to be shown publicly with a, a certificate of Man of Excellence with their peers, say a few words to them, I'm getting goosebumps. It really means a lot. A lot of this is because of my dad. I know he's looking down, and I know he's very proud of the work that I've done with the veterans. The veterans are my heart. I am the daughter of an alcoholic. I had to spend, you know, the youngest years of my life figuring out how to maneuver, figuring out how to survive in the household and be okay. So I hope that my actions show them I care, and I know they feel that. You know, the mission is where good lives. This is who we are. Look around this from this room tonight. Look at the employees of Daytop. It really comes down to that these are loving, caring men and women who really take pride in the work they do. We have people who come in here, work their entire careers, give of themselves day in and day out. They're there for the folks that come through these doors, and that's what makes us different. Every child is a miracle, and I think every human being is. And all miracles need is a place in which miracles are believed. Samaritan makes miracles. They take people whose lives have been decimated, sometimes through choices they've made, more often 
through no fault of their own really, and it gives them a path to become themselves. And being able to share in that or to contribute to that is a joy.